thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ali Sarı. I am a professor at Istanbul Tec Technical University and visiting professor at University of Texas at San Antonio. Now, I will talk about our observations on the damaged buildings and at the same time observation on ground motions. Mainly, I will try to explain in a short time some of the factors contributing to the collapse of the structures uh, during these two earthquakes. And I want to acknowledge my team. Uh, we spent a long time at the site uh, and uh, we investigated almost 500 collapsed buildings. We visited many, uh, many cities, uh, mainly focused on the cities that are high, uh, highly damaged. And I would like to also acknowledge uh, Istanbul Tech University, uh, Tipitak and EFET uh, for their support. So in the uh, map, you see the uh, distribution of the damaged buildings, mainly medium damage, high damage and collapsed buildings. If you look carefully, uh, here, this is Antakya district in, in Hatay city. Uh, mainly, uh, there were, uh, according to the latest official reports, information that they provided us, there were a lot, around 85,000 buildings in that district, and 38,000 of them were collapsed or heavily damaged. So almost half of the city were uh, uh, suffered uh, significant of the earthquake. So you see the graph here on the left, uh, on the, on yeah, on on my left, on your right. Uh, so uh, uh, this is the number of the building stock uh, uh, shown here, and the the yellow ones, yellow color shows the the undamaged buildings, and the rest uh, shows the damaged building, especially uh, uh, Gaziantep, Hatay provinces and uh, Karamash provinces that you see from that uh, uh, graph suffered f uh, significantly from this earthquake. So I will show, talk about a few factors. There are many factors actually. When we decided to make this presentation here, uh, uh, as a team we put some, some slides together and we end up having 300 slides. <laughs> so, so it was very difficult for us to reduce it to the few uh, 10, 10 or 11 slides. So I will just talk about a few factors here. So um, uh, one of the most important factor, non-ductile design for non-ductile system. Especially you see a lot of buildings collapse uh, with, uh, with, which has strong beam weak column in the design. Uh, and that, uh, we have seen a lot of buildings with, uh, there are actually there is the factors, uh, the buildings, you, we look, when you look at the buildings and the neighborhoods one by one, you will see sometimes you see combination of several factors uh, in uh, applies one, one neighborhood or one building and the other factors applies to others. So it is very, it is not that easy to identify and say one factor called the collapse of the building. But this is widely seen factors, strong beam, we call them, or soft story, weak story problems. Uh, and uh, in proper, uh, I want to put this, this is not very widely seen, but in, in, in Iskandarin district, uh, there was a presentation talking about Asmolan uh, or waffle slabs. Uh, so th this is a non-ductile system. Uh, actually, Turkish, Turkish code limits usage of this type of uh, uh, construction or uh, systems in the uh, of design, uh, but we have seen a lot of building in Iskander uh, region. Most of them collapsed, uh, uh, build, most of the collapsed building ha had this type of waffle system or Asmodon system. Mainly wrong design, design issue and construction issue at the same time. Uh, and this is very interesting. This is actually very well constructed building. Construction is almost perfect, no mistakes at all. Design is almost per perfect. And very interestingly, we talk to people, they spend a lot of time to construct this building. The owners spend a lot of money. This building collapsed and there was a building just next to it. It was unauthorized and unengineering building and didn't collapse. Uh, uh, very interesting, we, we think torsional effect torsional irregularities, 
uh, have impact on this building and also vertical vertical ground motions uh, and soft soil. The combination of a few factors cause the impact uh, or cause the uh, collapse of this building. And we look at the industrial facilities. Uh, this is a vegetable oil factory due to the sloshing and uh, effect and the uh, overturning effect. We, uh, there were damages on the uh, on the uh, uh, this uh, storage tanks. And we look at the maize uh, grain silos, mainly pressure, uh, uh, dynamic pressure, and overturning effects caused the unzipping of this building. We did the calculations, actually we verify the reason why these silos collapse. The dynamic pressure actually reaches almost seven times the, the static pressure. And this is again uh, the overturning effect uh, caused the slippage of the anchorage from the concrete. And uh, we did non-structural items, very interesting, this is very important in Antarctica region especially, we see this uh, equipment mounted on the roof, mainly the water tank for solar system. Actually, we also, uh, they, they, they fall on the street, and actually there was a case, one boy ran out of a building, uh, and this water tank fell, fell on, on his head and he died. Uh, 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 he, was, he escaped from the building, but uh, because of these water tanks, uh, he died. And the minarets, mosque minarets, a lot of damages and collapse, mainly uh, the P delta effect or high overturning uh, moments caused the, the minarets to, to, uh, to collapse, many of them. And uh, it's, it's, at the same time, the, the period of this minaret, natural period of the minarets is very close to, close to the period region in a spectrum that has directive effect. So there is a resonance most likely happen to it. So roof system, again, a lot of damages on the roof. I want to mention very quickly vertical ground motions. Several places, the vertical ground motions was extremely high. And when we compare the vertical ground motions with the, with the peak horizontal ground motion, as you see uh, the, here, the comparison, uh, a lot of, of them, the ratio is more than 0.8. Uh, according to Turkish code, you design for 0.8 of the horizontal uh, ground motion. But you see many, many cases that vertical ground motion caused the, a contribute the failure of the building or collapse of the building. And you see actually here the spectrum here, especially in Antakya region, uh, vertical uh, ground motion, vertical acceleration uh, spectrum spectra exceeded the, the ones that is given in the in the in the Turkish standard. It, it's very big difference actually, two times, three times at some point. And the uh, vertical ground motion also caused this type of failure. See the buckling of the, the steel column for the steel very well designed, actually very well designed and very well constructed steel building, but a very high vertical ground motion around 0.9 G, the PJ for vertical ground motion was around 0.9 G, caused the buckling of the column, uh, steel column, and on the, on the other side you see the, the crashing of the RC column due to the vertical ground motion. The last thing I want to mention, past like velocity time mysteries, actually this is very good uh, uh, data, very clearly show the, uh, the directivity pulse due to the super shear effect. So very, it clearly shows the signatures of the super shear effect and mainly causing a very high velocity impulses and causing the high significant damages of collapse on the buildings. And I will finish here.